please do not be a licensed song. I do not need that in my life right now. I know I'm ruining the atmosphere right now. I am sorry, okay? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Wow, they are just still laying there. I haven't pressed anything. Okay, yeah, moving the analog stick does nothing. Um, pressing A does nothing. Okay. Never just lay in silence next to your friend on their bed listening to a song. Okay, Th these these are things are repeating. Oh, press B to get up. Okay. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Yes, that is important. Oh. Glad to hear you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Yeah, my clothes would be in her drawer. <laughs> oh, seriously, where are the clothes? Oh. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious. And scary. Dang. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shit store. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. <laughs> we won't go that far. We won't go that route. Was Rachel that popular with everybody here? She blended like a chameleon. Clearly more than I knew. Or wanted to know. You knew that she wanted to go to Los Angeles with you. Then where is she? Dang. Ooh, that water damage. Jesus. That, 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 that's black mold. <laughs> Time to put on your daily armor, man. At least we haven't been identified yet. Ooh. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Aww. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. That's why you should have like you dried off. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I don't think I'll be moshing today. She's like way taller than you. These clothes are not gonna fit. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Also, technically. Hey, there you go. The shirt Rachel she's wearing should smell more me. like chlorine. Since she's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances. 
whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Did I freaking call this or... You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. She was flustered. Oh no. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. <laughs> yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Some. Wow. I remember this old phone. Oh my god. We decorated it together. Speaking of, I, like, dead ass, someone did call, like, the number, the support number today. Just talking about, like, their flip phone was acting up. It's like, okay, first of all, we don't give out flip phones. We give out iPhones, but no, she was I like, it is a flip a phone. How long have you been working here? Oh my god, it's flannel. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? <laughs> sure, this will go well. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. <laughs> Don't be a dummy cover your willy. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Oh wow, big message. Aw, thank you for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You always be in our prayers. Love and blessings to your friend Kate. I'm glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. Promise. No. Why is the shirt half tucked? The bird is still. <laughs> Check out Mad Max. Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Why is it still here? Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. <laughs> this is escalated. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. This is escalated. <laughs> Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. The morph, the morphine is slowly occurring. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. 
do they? I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, like, she's not going to be completely freaked out by this. This might be the one time these people are right. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Those are her street clothes. It's like the exact same as her diner uniform, whatever. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you Rachel used to Rachel spend the night too? Chloe. Now hmm. Tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Why is this the toughest? Oh, wait, no, it's not tough at all. Pancakes suck. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Can you, though? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Who drinks beer this early around here? Don't judge. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. <laughs> Is the bacon outside? Get this bird out of here. I'll well, open that to let the bird get out, but all right. I wonder how these birds died. Oh, window. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. There's the bird. Oh, look at the poor bird. Seems kind of freaked out. He's holding on for being in here for two days with no food. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. There. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. I know, right? Also, wow. That refrigerator was more barren than my hopes and dreams. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or 
wherever she is. Hmm. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? <laughs> no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. A century it's not is. All that. Joyce. Shorter than well, a thousand I'm years, just saying, Joyce. For us queens and a king, <laughs> go sit at the table. What? Who? Who? who who's? Who's the king? DDD? -D -D? Is he coming? That'd be nice. Wowza! Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> I'm sorry, the rip on that shoulder is just annoying me. Holding the fork with her full fist. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Pete instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. 
I Let's do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. We're just looking at everything else. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. I have a feeling it's going to be Joyce. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Jump cut, okay. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Hmm. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Really? Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. An honor having dinner with you? Oh my God. It might be a useful password. There's too many possibilities. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. <laughs> Just brute force it. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. <laughs> There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military. I can even see the Oops. combination. It might be a useful password. Mm hmm. Nothing in it. I wonder if I'll get bonus points for examining everything. Oh, shit balls. Hmm. Try again. No way, Max. You <gasps> totally froze the laptop. <laughs> there we Score. go. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. <laughs> 
why does David care? Hmm. Suspicious medical bag. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Kate stays in bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? No. Maybe depression? Crying? Don't trust... Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club party. Not even church. Drugs? Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset and ran. Guilty. Wow. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Yeah. That is creepy. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Ooh. I just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks, Taylor. I know you care, too. Going to the party, I'd love to style you up. If you want. If I do go, I'd love to get a Taylor makeover. Talk soon. Yay, friendship. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Here we go. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Why pray tell what I side with David? He did nothing to help Kate. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. <laughs> why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Triple oh, I, I snap. I a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. <laughs> Can we speak to her? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Hmm. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. 
Why would I? <laughs> Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Which we'll do next time. Also, oh, only four pages. Yeah, sure, why not? Because I'm probably just going to, like, ghetto split this part up at the natural break of things. Despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided what we needed more than anything was to take a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so getting rebellious that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in big trouble no matter what. I don't know why we're so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me, even if that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. I fear those useful shenanigans might soon be a thing in our past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of those teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talk about dumb boys and girls and why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh, how quiet could we be in the swimming pool? Plus, after leaving a trail of our Blackwork ha Blackwell handiwork, it was so intense and exciting to get past the ser security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past, especially as we had to bail in Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Please don't say hella. Please. Please don't. Please. Is that where I'm going to leave the break? Yeah, sure, why not? I guess. I don't even know. <laughs> um, it's also pretty late right now, so I am kinda losing my mind. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play Life is Strange when we figure out how to get these keys from Frank, and hopefully I remember to read the diary before we continue on. Goodbye.